Aloha, welcome. Let's talk a little bit about coaching. Coaching, uh, if we look on, on the, <clears throat> the internet, uh, we can see from the number of people that are looking into coaching, searching for coaches, looking to become coaches, or if we look at, uh, at, at statistics from the government, we we'll see that coaching and consulting is independent, you know, uh, working for yourself, but helping others, whether it's in business, whether it's in spiritual matters, whether it's in, in learning issues and academia, or whether it's in sports, uh, the just life skills and healing, you know, our, our core work here is with healing, but it, all of these areas really are integrated. They're all about life coaching. And, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of different aspects and forms to coaching. There's there's organizations that uh, standardize elements of, of coaching, certification, uh, and, and and that's 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 great. That's what it is. That's not what we're doing here. Uh, w what we're doing is more aligned with uh, the work of Tony Robbins, uh, which I rather than saying, here's, you know, what, uh, and he kind of really has been almost single-handedly the one who's brought coaching to where it is today. Um, his approach is beyond the box of, of typical certified coaching training programs, as he puts it, you know, that, that he'll do anything as long as it does no harm to his client to get them to achieve what they uh, have the potential to achieve of, of the good that they can achieve. And, and that's, that's interesting because you know as a healer as a by training as a doctor we we take uh, the hippocratic oath and we say you know i i, I promise I, I i swear you know the sacred oath on my soul that that i will do no harm first do no harm very similar to what tony tony's philosophy is you know first do no harm but beyond that i'm here to make you better to make you well to help you heal to help you grow and and what is healing healing is about healing the physical uh you know often that's that's the the first uh, you know appearance to our senses that we see, see we feel this uh blockage in 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 our experience where we're, we're not comfortable we're in pain we're unhappy we're, you know whether it's even emotional or spiritual uh, uh suffering we, we want to remove the blockage to allow the flow of joy and grace in our life and it's really about allowing the the the, the blueprint like the the divine blueprint the intelligence of the design of the body to allow us to as a spirit to inhabit here and and to experience to to grow and 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 create to self-create through our choices to navigate life and so it's the freedom is really the goal of healing to free the soul to to choose uh, through opening up the pathways of the senses to gain knowledge and experience and paraphrasing you know uh, uh, one of my favorite sayings by saint thomas aquinas back uh, 700 years ago and way ahead of his time he said the power of nutrition uh, is to you know the, the importance is to to free the senses uh, to allow the soul the freedom to experience in order to grow and learn and, and develop so uh, this morning I was taking a look at uh, Tony Robbins's work and Robbins Madonna's uh, training center uh, they're doing wonderful work training coaches and we will be recommending their their training as a core uh, element of our training because uh, they do it great we don't need to to uh, try to replicate the work that that they're doing we need to work together and what we can add to that is is deeper training in the the healing of the body mind and spirit uh, again along the similar philosophy that what we're certifying here and what we're d attempting to do here is again like tony says to uh, first do no harm and otherwise to not limit ourselves in how we achieve our results but first doing no harm when it comes to healing means we're going to avoid synthetic medications we're going to avoid surgery well isn't that you know mostly what the worldly medicine is offering now this is not a substitute for for 
you know, for drugs, and not a substitute for pharmaceutical, you know, industry or, uh, you know, modern medicine, licensed health care is what it is. And as a spiritual being, this is part of the navigation of, of choice, of, of moving, you know, do you move into that system? You know, we know that the statistics in public health tell us that one out of three people who just enter a hospital building come out with a new disease. I mean, enter as a patient is the statistic. But even walking in there, th you're exposing yourself to the worst bacteria. Nosocomial infections, hospital-borne infections, are the worst infections. We have the Center for Disease Control just, you know, weeks ago uh, in an official announcement proclaiming the end, that we've reached the end of the antibiotic era. You know, Béchamp was right, according to, to Pasteur on his deathbed, that the terrain is everything. And we t teach terrain here. We treat the terrain. We don't kill the bacteria. We may supply other bacteria and other organisms that compete. Competitive inhibition, way more powerful. You're, you're treating life with life. You're balancing life with other life. Uh, <laughs> can't tell you how many strep throats have gone away in seconds, literally, often in seconds, with just bringing in other bacteria, often other species of strep, streptococcus faecium, which is the, the most rapidly reproducing and therefore the best competitor for a strep throat that's, uh, you know, maybe a beta hemolytic strep even that's, that's dangerous to our health. So super important, super important choices that we have to make. Uh, and in many cases, the fastest way to feel better is to support the body in its own healing. You know, and, and ultimately with chronic illness, the way out, the way back to health is a road that's been studied and, and we'll be bringing that information to you in the five phases of disease and, and healing uh, based on European biological medicine, the bio, bioelectronics of Vinson, measuring the, the light, the electricity, the, the pH, the protons in the terrain, in, in the fluids of the body. It's, I mean, this is real, real healing science that's, uh, you know, where we can measure energy in microwatts based on the uh, uh, physics formula. Uh, those are the three factors that, that go into it. Uh, the Nernst equation is what it's called. So getting a bit long here, so we'll continue on the next, next visit. Aloha. Thank you.